Hey, hi there, Aries. Welcome to my monthly predictive reading for May 2020, your love prediction. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take those portions that resonate with you. This is a general reading. Okay, Aries, off camera to save time, I've performed a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards, just for you, and we will be using a card from the Archangel Power Tarot Cards by Radley Valentine. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the basis of the matter. This is the situation at hand. And for a love reading, this is a really good card to get. Number five of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The Hierophant. This can represent a Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Represents traditional Orthodox teaching. This is being committed, it's acting respectable, this is, can represent a relationship, and a marriage, an alliance, it's love through helpful doctrine, it's social institutions, particularly marriage or formal relationships, it has to do with religious beliefs, formal doctrine, a prompting of spiritual thinking and learning. This card carries a blessing. This is a visionary. They rule over the world, the conscious, the subconscious, and the superconscious. This is a person who has deep intuition and faith. And they may even be experiencing a religious or spiritual urge. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. And here you are, Aries, the Emperor, number four of the Major Arcana. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This has to do with control, domination of the material world, authority, paternity, and the regulation of life by law. It's order and structure and stability. It's a divine masculine card. It's controlled and directed a drive or attention. It's exercising power wisely with structure and control, authority and rules, which can become repressive. This is someone powerful and he rules and you may feel under their influence. This is love through healthy boundaries and stability. It's power and protection and realization. This is a great person. They could be giving aid. This is a supreme authority and their age and position of authority speak of experience and wisdom gained. They're a beneficent ruler, and they will fight for what is right and what is their duty to protect. They're a father figure. They could be giving fatherly advice. They're a solid leader, a natural-born leader, and they have a right to rule. The hero fit with the emperor card is marriage and a controlling person. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. The Page of Swords, Aries. Air Energy. Aquarius. Gemini. Libra. Sun. Moon. Rising. Venus. Now, this page is vigilant. They investigate. They ask questions. This could be someone that's a little nervous or have some anxiety. This could even be a communication or a message. It could alert you to the truth. Or it could be someone behaving in a risky manner, the overconfidence and ignorance of youth that can cause strife. They have a thirst for knowledge. They have a curious mind and they have new ideas. They're clever and they're quick-witted. This could be new ways of communication and sharing ideas. And it brings forward movement. This could be someone that's manipulating communication or twisting their tail they can be a spy, like over the internet. This situation requires the subtle use of strong mental abilities, still in the exploratory stage. So hold on to what brings you clarity. The hero fit with the page of swords is, is uh, sticking to your own values. Could be pushing boundaries. It's discussions and objective thinking. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, 
and the advice. The Knight of Pentacles, Aries. Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Knights are on a mission. Could be bringing good news or indicate the coming or going of a matter. This is a slow movement, moving with the flow. They're stable and dedicated, responsible and predictable and determined. They're patient, and they do their job. This is someone that puts their nose to the grindstone, and they get things done. Yet they may be eager to get back to their regular routine. This is someone that's dedicated to duty. They're unhurried. They're working towards a goal. They're cautious and stubborn and self-sacrificing. They could be fulfilling obligations, offering assistance, completing projects, getting or giving money or a job or house hunting, offering stability. The hero fin with the Knight of Pentacles is traditional and dedicated. It takes time to develop. This is stable guidance. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. The Four of Wands, Aries, fire energy. This is a really good card to have in a love reading. It represents another card of marriage. This is celebration and results. It's a completion of a stage. It's a, a coming marriage, a romance, a harvest. It's taking time to pause and relax, be at home. It's reaping rewards, and it's something new that's soon coming. This is a reward for a breakthrough, a level that is finished. It's taking a relationship to a new level. It's celebrating your accomplishments. This is taking stock and looking back and giving thanks to those that helped you, giving gratitude. It's marking a life transition with ceremony or ritual. It's 1111 card portal. This could be your twin flame. It brings in a sense of stability and a run of luck. You could be putting down roots together or moving in together or celebrating a housewarming. And you have the right attitude for positive changes. It's harmony and prosperity and peace. It's new friendships, hearing pleasant stories, the hero fit with the four of wands, this is based on love. It's a marriage ceremony, a church wedding. The emperor with the page of swords is controlling your ideas and messages and communications that are still immature. The emperor with the knight of pentacles is enforcing your inner discipline. It's controlled and focused energy, a clear vision. The emperor with the four of wands is stability in marriage. And relax the rules a bit to celebrate and relax. The Page of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles is asking questions patiently. Your idea is progressing slowly and cautiously. The Page of Swords with the Four of Wands is optimism. It's base knowledge. It's learning about laying a good solid foundation for the future. The Knight of Pentacles with the Four of Wands is steady improvement towards a strong foundation. It can also represent a hard-working community. Here's your card from the Archangel Power Tarot Cards by Radley Valentine. Card number eight, Justice, from Archangel Raguel. Fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. This can also be a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Ted Taurus and Libra, and you're reading twice, three times for Taurus. The angel sent you this card as assurance that it's the right decision that will be made. Court cases, settlements, or other issues decided by third parties will be ruled in your favor. Where situations had previously become unfair, Archangel Regu Reguel can help restore balance between people involved, and you will soon be able to put this challenge behind you. This card also brings messages of empowerment, that the situation you find yourself in was partially, partially created by previous choices that you made, and therefore new choices can bring about new results, if you desire. It is very important to make fair and carefully measured decisions at this time. 
Kindness and justice must always be extended towards everyone involved. Additional meanings, seek equality, set aside emotion, do the logical thing, and review legal papers carefully. Archangel Reguel is the angel to call upon whenever you find yourself in a challenging situation with someone else. He can soften the energy between two people or even groups, so that a peaceful and harmonious resolution can be found. Thanks, you guys, Aries. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.